Welcome back. Coming up on 628, let's take a look at your national headlines. Harrowing new details about the shooting at a Georgia high school that left four people dead this week. ABC's M. Wynn brings us the latest on what led up to it and a teacher's heroic act when the shots rang out. This morning, the father of a Georgia teen accused of gunning down two teachers and two students at Appalachia High School arrested and charged. In the most severe case against the parent of an alleged school shooter, Colin Gray is charged with two counts of second-degree murder, four counts of involuntary manslaughter, and eight counts of cruelty to children. These charges stem from Mr. Gray knowingly allowing his son, Colt, to possess a weapon. Investigators say his son, 14-year-old Colt Gray, used an AR-style rifle in the attack. ABC News learning the gun was a Christmas gift from his father. In May of last year, the FBI investigated several tips, saying Colt Gray had possibly threatened to shoot up a middle school. At the time, his father told investigators there were guns in the house, but that Colt did not have unsupervised access. Colin was recorded then telling investigators he was teaching his son about hunting. We do a lot of shooting. We do a lot of deer hunting. Wednesday morning, authorities say Colt opened fire just before 1030, killing four and injuring at least nine others. You just hear gunshots. Uh, there's about 10 to 15 of them at once back to back. Um, and then everyone just kind of ducks to the floor. Um, and we all kind of sporadically crawl. We don't really know which corner to go to. Among the victims, math teacher Richard Aspinwall, who one student said tried to confront the shooter and died crawling back to his classroom. Seven minutes after the initial call, we're told the suspect was taken into custody. And he doesn't really speak when he is there in school and he's not skipping, he doesn't talk. Colt's aunt telling ABC News he was begging for months for help with his mental health, saying she believes the adults around him failed him. All nine victims sent to the hospital are expected to make a full recovery. Meantime, the 14-year-old suspected gunman is set to appear in court later this morning. M. Wynn, ABC News, Washington. And stay with News 8 as this story continues to develop on air and online. Of course, our coverage is available anytime on the News 8 app and on our YouTube page.